Listen. The thunder of a raging cross. Its staggered beams bearing a bloodthirsty Christ. Him they preach. Him they believe. Thus the salt swelters with the heat of injustice. Yet here others gather. Same Lord's Day. Same holy book. But we look to Calvary and behold another cross. Beams of hope. Blaring the savior of love with a gospel of peace. A great physician who shed his own blood to heal his enemies. Whose outstretched arms forged from man of every tribe, tongue, and nation. One people, one family, one object of his blazing love. For throughout these southern United States, there are two crosses, and they are at war. And as this war over the Civil Rights Bill plays out, and Congress debates just how free this land of the free should be, our hope is alive. For in our cross, we see the promises of a faithful God. We see Jubilee. Huh, which Jubilee? You ask good questions on a Sunday morning. Le Leviticus 25. And, and the lo Lord said, pro proclaim the li liberty throughout the land, and it, and it sh 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 shall be, be a j Jubilee. Amen, Benny. Jubilee is a triumph of liberty over the shackles of hate for all people everywhere. The conquest of justice that breaks every chain. We are an army, but our battle cry is Jubilee. We're soldiers, but our swords are giftings and callings from the army of the true cross to storm the gates of hate and set its captives free. Cast out strongholds of bigotry. Hew stones of hope from mountains of despair. This is our warfare. This is our call to arms. Brothers, sisters, will you answer the call? Will you lift your swords and prove the God of Jubilee? Or let them rust and prove them a mere phantom of our hopes? 